Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my very festive mug and my matching jumper. I've just realised how matchy matchy I am. Okay, so if you saw my last video, you would have heard me say that today I had something for you that was obviously book related because that's where my channel is generally focused these days um, and also something very festive. Um, and it wasn't a festive book review, although there are plenty of those to come. I can't believe, I'm sort of getting excited about this as though I'm gonna do a big reveal, as though you haven't seen the thumbnail or the title of this video. Um, but anyway, I'm quite excited about it. So today I am bringing you the ultimate book lovers gift guide for 2020. I would say up front, this is unlikely to be bite size today. Um, as it's the ultimate book lovers gift guide, I have quite a few gift ideas for you. I think there are 16 in total. So it's not gonna be bite size. So I would suggest grabbing yourself a tea or a coffee, getting comfy, and let's talk Christmas presents. If you have been watching my channel for a while, last year you would have seen that I did um, separate gift guides for him, her, kids, tricky people and last minute gift ideas. I will leave all of those linked in the description below. I don't really feel that gift ideas date too much, so you may find some inspiration in there, check it out. But today, like I said, this is all gonna be about the book lover in your life. I mean, that could be you. You could be watching this thinking, hell no, I'm not gonna be buying these for anyone else. I'm gonna be treating myself and I totally agree. Um, I think it's always nice to have a little treat now and again and I think this year we need it more than ever. So you treat yourself. Like I said, I have got, I think 16 gift ideas here. They are, I mean, there is a real range. Hopefully I've got something for all budgets, whether you're looking for a stocking filler, whether it's more of a main present, whether you're looking for something that's a bit more sort of flexible and you can decide how much you want to spend. I have ideas for you, um, whether it's for him, her, I've got a couple of ideas that will work for kids. So hopefully you'll be able to get some inspiration from this video. If you hear something in this video and you think, oh yeah, that's a great idea, I'm gonna buy that for so-and-so, let me know in the comments because I would love to know. I don't have all of the gifts here, I wish I did. Um, I am seriously tempted to buy some of these myself. Um, I will leave links to everything I can in the description below. That is gonna be one hell of a description this time. Um, and where I have any discount codes, because one or two brands have given us a discount, so I will leave those linked below. Definitely check that out if you're keen to buy any of this. Save yourself some money. I think that is very important, especially this year. And lastly, before I start showing you um, the gift ideas, um, I just wanted to say that within this video, I have tried to include as many items, products, ideas from small businesses as possible. It would be so simple for me to just go through and say, and all of these can be purchased from Amazon. Because to be honest, you probably can purchase most of these from Amazon. That is the sad truth of it. Um, but we know that Amazon is very much profiting from this pandemic, whereas small businesses are really struggling. And I don't know about you, but even on our high street, I am seeing them disappear, which is so sad. Let's do what we can to support them this year. The first gift idea is a beautiful book lovers mug from Colson McLeod. Now, Colson McLeod very kindly had gifted me this mug, but we've been having some problems with the post here and it hasn't arrived in time, which I'm gutted about. Um, <laughs> sod's law, it will turn up today. But thank you so much to Colson McLeod for sending me that. This mug is beautiful. I love the gift cards that you can get that are similar to this, so with all the different quotes. The best thing about this mug is that the quotes are very true, but not really ones that I've heard before, and also some of them are quite amusing. Um, let me just read a couple of them out to you. Always read something that will make you look good if you die in the middle of it. I mean, there's no hope for me with the general books that I read. You can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough. And then this one made me laugh. Um, the definition of a classic, a book that people praise but don't read. So this mug is called the Bookworm Novelty Mug and it is £12. And actually, Colson McLeod offer free delivery within the UK, which I think is great because 
Quite often you'll purchase something online and then you have to add on three, four pounds sometimes for postage, which obviously then kind of eats into your budget a bit. The Colson McLeod website has some lovely items. I'm not surprised that they've been featured in Red Magazine, House Beautiful, Good Homes. Um, when you have a look at their stuff, you'll understand why. It is very cool, very classy. And actually they have a whole section on there for book lovers. So gift ideas for book lovers, have a look there and you'll find some extra ideas. Number two on my gift guide is a book sleeve. Now, I am 38 years old and this is the first book sleeve I have ever owned. Where have you been all my life? Um, this is from a small business on Etsy called Mealy Moon. Again, I'll leave them listed in the description below. This is so well made and I love this little label. Look at it, it's just so cute. Very cool print and on the inside there is pink and white dots. And so they do so many colour print options on their website. These are £12.50 from Mealy Moon, like I said, on Etsy. I think they make a great stocking filler, especially for those people that maybe travel quite a lot. Okay, maybe not so much at the moment, but those people that are still commuting, those people that even just like to take their book out and about with them in their bag, they don't want the corners to get creased, they don't want the book to sort of get a bit ragged, they, they like it looking its best basically. So then they can just pop their book in here, put it in their bag and it keeps it nice and crisp, which is exactly how I like to keep my books. When I was traveling up to London recently, I put my Kindle in here. Um, I feel like it's like a little sleeping bag for it. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, they do so many different colours, prints, fabrics. They have, at the moment, the most gorgeous Nordic print. I'm very tempted to buy myself a second one. This maybe could be my summer one and then that could be my winter one. Is that a bit excessive? Number three are bookmarks with a little bit of a difference. Now these aren't actually labelled as bookmarks on the website. So um, these are actually called photo strips from the company Inkify. Again, I will leave it linked in the description below. That description is going to be so long, <laughs> I'm warning you now. Um, yes, yeah, so these are, here we go, we can see some lovely photos of Michael and I. Um, these are called photo strips and I think they make lovely personalised bookmarks. So I've been using these as bookmarks for probably the last year. Um, I've also gifted them as bookmarks. And the great thing is, on the back, as you can see, they are plain. So um, I've written little personalised messages on the back when I've gifted them to people. The idea behind Inkify is that it uses your Instagram pictures and makes them into whether it's photo strips, whether it's um, huge frames full of your Instagram pictures. It's very easy, it works seamlessly with Instagram. You can get 10 strips, obviously I've just got two here. You can get 10 strips, each strip has four photos for 12 pounds. And Inkify have been very kind and given us 15% off the website, valid for a month. I know how long it takes to choose your favourite Instagram photos, um, but you've got a month. All you need to do is use the code Haley 15 and you'll get 15% off. I'll leave all of the details down below. Okay, number four, and maybe an obvious one, but always a winner, I think, is a book gift card or book token. I don't think you can go wrong by giving the gift of a book of their choice. And if you're like me and you have a birthday very close to Christmas, you'll really appreciate getting a voucher because you can treat yourself to something later in the year. And obviously the bonus with a gift card or book token, whatever we want to call it, is the fact that you can choose how much you want to spend. So it could be that actually it's just a token gift. I know with national book tokens, you can gift five pounds, which would buy someone a lovely book. Now you can choose a physical gift card that can either arrive to you so you can gift it to someone in person or that gift card you can send direct to the recipient. Or if you've left things a little bit too late this year and you're thinking, oh my God, I need to get someone a gift and I need to get it quick. You can get an e-gift card which will be sent directly to the recipient's email address. National book tokens can be spent in WH Smith, so they can be spent in Waterstones, but equally they can be spent in independent bookstores. 
And I think, as I said at the beginning of this video, I think that's really important that we try to support those smaller businesses this year. Number six, and we're moving on to the most expensive item in this gift guide, but you didn't think I would be able to do a gift guide without including my Kindle Paperwhite. Now, if you haven't seen my review on this, I have gone into a lot of depth on it, so I'm not gonna touch on too much of it within this video, but I will leave that linked in the description below. Yep. It's gonna be long. This is, I think, $119.99 from Amazon. It's the Kindle Paperwhite. This is definitely gonna be more of a main present idea, or you might wanna club together with a couple of people to purchase this for someone. Giving the gift of a Kindle, I think, is like giving someone a library or a bookshop. Even if the person you're buying for is a die-hard physical book fan, I firmly believe that you can convert them with a Kindle. Um, I still read physical books. Um, you can probably see some of them here. I have some of them over there. I still enjoy the feeling of reading a physical book, but I absolutely love my Kindle. And if you're buying for someone who does a lot of traveling, usually, who reads books really fast, but doesn't have a lot of space for storage, this is gonna be the perfect present for them. If you're thinking, oh, actually, I'd quite like to get them something else to go with it. Um, these covers from Amazon, um, this is just a yellow fabric one. I believe you can get leather ones. These are perfect. They have a little magnet, um, which when that closes, the Kindle goes to sleep. It obviously protects it. And more importantly, I feel, when you're reading it, it actually feels like you're reading a book. Number seven, and definitely going for something more of a sort of stocking filler now, is this tote bag. So this says, I like big books and I cannot lie. I find it really hard to say this without having the song playing in my head. This was actually a gift from Michael last year. I believe he got it from Etsy, but when I had a look on Etsy, I actually can't find this exact one. Um, I will leave some other options listed in the description below. Um, this is a great practical stocking filler. I pop this in my smaller handbag. I know that sounds mental. Girls though, you'll totally understand. Putting a bag in a bag. Because when, you, when you're when you out and you're shopping and you pick something up, you don't wanna pay for a plastic bag. It's obviously not great for the environment. So, but it won't go in your smaller handbag. So you just pull this out. Hey presto, you got yourself a bag. And you know what? You can get some proper bargains of these on Etsy. I think they start at around five pounds. <laughs> okay, number eight and I was umming and ahhing about whether to include this. This is probably the geekiest item I own. Um, but I love it, so I had to include it in this gift guide, and that is a reading trolley. Now, I have one, um, it's actually over there. It's quite big, it probably is not gonna fit in this shot. I love it. Um, you would originally have seen them in libraries. Actually, at the moment, because I'm working from home and my desk isn't huge, I actually use it as additional storage for notebooks, my laptop. It's basically an extension to my desk at the moment. I sometimes use it if I'm thinking, actually, I want a change of scenery. I'm gonna move everything from my office to the dining room. I can pop it all in there, wheel it through. Oh my God, this sounds so geeky. Um, and then I've got it all there. You can get these in so many different places. They've become very popular. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on John Lewis. You can also buy them from Hobbycraft. Now I found the most beautiful mint green one from Hobbycraft and I believe it's about 28 99 So again, yep, you've guessed it. I will leave that linked in the description below. Number eight is something that you can make as luxurious, splurge as much as you want on, make it as budget friendly as you want, and that is a reading hamper. Maybe just head to M&S or head to Waitrose, pick up their favorite tea, could be some Nespresso coffee pods, um, their favorite biscuits, uh, maybe some chocolate thrown in there, or, oh, do you know what I can't stop thinking about at the moment? Quality Street. I saw them. I saw the massive tubs in Tesco's the other day, and I was like, I need to get on those, but I don't want to peak too early. Include all of those nice little bits that you know they really, really like. Pop a book in there. Maybe a new book. Maybe a book that they've been talking about reading for a while. You could include a candle. Um, you can include any of these things that I'm going to be talking about here. 
um, and it's totally up to you how much you want to spend and also I think it's really nice when you receive a gift that someone has put a lot of time and thought into they've really sort of thought about what you enjoy what your favorites you know they've listened out over the last year to to what book you're looking forward to reading but you haven't yet purchased also you don't even have to spend loads of money on the box you could just get a cardboard box and just wrap it in festive wrapping paper i'm sure pinterest has got plenty of ideas on how you can make that look really cool number nine and again this is something you could include in your reading hamper if you wanted number nine is a cozy blanket now i know this isn't specifically book related but i think reading and feeling cozy especially at this time of the year go hand in hand and <laughs> for me it needs to be thick it needs to be warm and it needs to be soft none of that coarse hairy stuff that lures you in under false pretenses obviously um at this time of year and when we are staying in a lot more there are so many blankets in the shops not that you can get there but of course you can get them online um home sense have some amazing ones they have such variety in there they just had sort of racks of them when i was in there last but where i have possibly found the softest blanket i've ever felt was in next i will try and find it on the website and link it below i think you'd ever get me out of it if i had it i might just keep this on my lap there we go now number 10 is the avid readers sweatshirt from joni clothing again i'll insert a photo here so this is 38 pounds and it comes in gray and it comes in a mustard yellow color they also do a t-shirt i just love how retro these look the t-shirt is 25 pounds by the way from what i've read in the reviews i would say that if you're interested in this either for yourself or for someone else definitely size up unless you want a very fitted look which I don't know about you at the moment, but I am all for the sort of baggy, comfy look. <laughs> I think that this is perfect for sort of lounging around the house, uh, maybe working from home. And when we do get out and about more, I think it would look really cool just sort of slightly tucked in at the front with a pair of jeans. Number 11 is a bath tray. This is perfect for those people who love to read in the bath. It's really useful to, I mean, obviously this one here has got a hole for your Prosecco glass or your champagne glass, depending on how fancy you wanna be. Can't say I've ever used this section here, as you can see, that's why it's probably a bit dusty. Um, I do actually pop tea lights in here, but also I think it's great to just pop a cup of tea on. Obviously, um, you can put your iPad in here if you wanted. I actually use it for my Kindle. I use it as a shelf for my book. It makes a bath a lot more luxurious and chilled. However ridiculous that may sound. You can find these everywhere. Again, I mean, they're on Amazon, but you can also get them on Etsy. You can get them on John Lewis. And they sort of range from around 20 to 30 pound-ish. And they come in a variety of colors and finishes. Bamboo is very popular. It's a very sustainable material. It is water resistant, which obviously is quite important. It looks pretty and it's also very affordable. Win-win. Okay, are we on number 11? I'm so bad with this, aren't I? Every time I do something that's sort of a numbered list, I lose track about after about number five. Number 12 is a book subscription from a box of stories. The idea behind this is great. My cousin actually brought this to my attention recently. So apparently 200,000 books are published each year in the UK, but only 17% of those get a decent marketing budget and make it to the bestsellers list. Obviously, in amongst that other remaining 83%, there are some great books, some gems of authors that basically just get lost and undiscovered until now. So what a box of stories does is curates all of those titles that have sold obviously a decent amount pop them through an algorithm of course um that looks at things like rankings blogs reviews to create boxes that you and i will enjoy and there are eight boxes to choose from depending on the sort of genre of reading that you like i would probably go for the light reads box um i believe you get four books in the box and the light reads version is 21.99 
obviously if you subscribe that price comes down. There are also boxes for general fiction, historical fiction, crime, thriller, young adult, I mean they've pretty much got all of those main genres covered. You can subscribe and choose how often you want your box delivered or if you're looking uh, at this as a gift idea um, you can do a one-off. Box of Stories is available in the UK and France, I just thought I would put that out there as I know I do have quite a few American followers. Hi! Number 13 is the 100 books scratch off poster. The list compiles 100 books, as you'd guess, um, the 100 best books that you need to read in your lifetime. And the idea is that you scratch them off as you read them, it's almost like you collect them um, and as you scratch them off it reveals a picture underneath. And then the poster can be framed basically because it does look quite pretty. It's 12 99 I believe and they also do a kids book version which I think is a really nice way to encourage kids to read a bit more. Number 14 and the only bit of jewellery I think I've got in here and that is these little book stud earrings again from Not On The High Street. These do look a decent size so I think you'd be able to tell what they are because I know quite often with studs they're so small that they just look like a dot and they come in a little cute gift box so it's basically ready to gift straight away or if you're wrapping it up I mean it's always nicer to wrap something that's square isn't it? These little book stud earrings from Not On The High Street are £12.50. Number 15 is an idea specifically for kids although I say that I actually would be quite keen to get my hands on a couple of these I think it would make walks a lot more interesting um, so number 15 are the I spy books I think these are especially great now when we're trying to find fun in the small things in life which might be going for a walk there isn't a huge amount else to do is there I think we're all going to be going for a lot more walks over the next month or so they have a huge range of these books from um, what's in the garden creepy crawlies cars nature trees my niece and nephew have a couple of these books I think my mum got them for them and they love them Basically the idea is to mark off as many of the things in the book as possible and they can basically collect them but also within the book you've got a lot of facts which my nephew loves and a lot of photos. You can buy them from Waterstones of course you can get them from Amazon and they're actually very reasonable I think they're about £2.99 per book. And finally is a candle. <laughs> Um, again not specifically related to books but I think as I was saying with the blanket reading and feeling cosy goes hand in hand for me and lighting a candle in the evenings it doesn't even have to be in the evening now does it I mean come sort of four o'clock it's dark um, but putting a candle on just sort of creates this sort of cosy wintry atmosphere and I have found the most amazing Christmassy candle now if you don't follow me on Instagram I will leave um is it a handle I will leave my Instagram handle here not the uh, most snappiest. Follow me over there because I put on Instagram a couple of days ago a post about this particular candle and I cannot rate it highly enough. It was from HomeSense and it was £7.99. I was like, HomeSense are very good for candles. Um, I think it's, I can't remember exactly what it's called, that's why I'm saying go over there and have a look on my Instagram and you'll see the exact candle. It smells exactly like a Christmas tree. I am so tempted that whenever HomeSense opens again to just go and bulk buy this candle. It's probably the nicest candle I have ever smelt, ever. Like I'm putting it out there and that is a big claim. I think that is everything, I hope that's everything because this is probably going to be one hell of a long video. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration, maybe some ideas of what you can buy the book lover in your life or what you can treat yourself to as a book lover. If you did enjoy it please give it the thumbs up and if you're going to be buying anything from this list I would love to know in the comments what you're getting. And of course if you're watching this video and you haven't already please subscribe. I have so much festive book content coming your way over the next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again back here next weekend where I will have a festive book review for you. Take care, have a good week, bye.